The video you're about to see is from a United States veteran who has a message for the current vice president. Check this out and I'll be right back. I need this message to go out to our vice president who's running for president. I have heard all over social media about, excuse me if I say anything wrong, immigrants getting um, loans, money. It was hard for me to believe. It was just extremely hard for me to believe. I've been in business such a long time. Back in 2019, I purchased my first food truck. It cost me over $25,000. I paid it cash money. I worked hard to pay for this truck. I'm now selling it because I'm just gonna, I'm doing other things, but I'm selling it. I had a guy come to look at purchasing my vehicle or my food truck. And he explained to me he's an illegal immigrant. He has no credit. He has no money in the bank. But he showed me his paperwork that he will receive funds to purchase my food truck. I'm thankful that he's buying it, but I'm hurt that I work so hard to pay cash for my food truck. I have good credit, can't even get a business loan because of the color of my skin. I have veterans in my family. I'm a veteran. I've been self-employed for so long. But somebody, please tell me, how do I work so hard to have somebody who comes to this country? Not long, no credit. And he shows me paperwork where they'll be funding him money to buy my food truck. And when I talked to the bank, they told me, um, usually they have to go straight to a dealership because you know, I'm, a, I'm a private sale. But for special circumstances, they're going to, you know, they allow it. But I need my president to tell me why I worked so hard all these years, all these decades. Couldn't get a business loan, but I bust my ass to get the money to create my business. And we got immigrants coming here. And they're getting money. Money! <laughs> We're doing nothing but just being here. It's not right, and I want answers. So, this lady pours her heart out after saving so much money to buy her food truck and working so hard to obtain it. She now ha is in a position to where she has to sell it. And the first buyer that comes up is a non-citizen, a non-citizen who hasn't paid taxes, who just hopped over here not that long ago and is able to buy this food trailer off of her thanks to government funds. Now, if it were me in this woman's shoes, I would be just as upset, if not more. Knowing that someone not born in the United States is getting this much government funding, this much government support, while you have homeless veterans, while you have people who are honest citizens that can barely get food stamps, and yet this individual can get several thousand dollars in government assistance just by walking across the border and skipping the line of the foreigners who are doing this the right way. I mean, Kamala's already vice president currently. If she becomes president of the United States, imagine how much worse this will end up. Americans who are born and raised in this country should not be put dead last to somebody who just hopped across the border all willy nilly. That's not how things are supposed to be here. But the current administration apparently does not like the American people. They don't want Americans to get ahead. They would much rather replace 
Americans with these foreigners and give them all the help they need, a head start, just so they can spit in the face of the American people going forward.